Well, hello everybody, and we are back for some fun in ESO. As to what I'm going to be doing tonight, I honestly have no idea. So, let's see. I am thinking let's run out and do some of these treasure maps real quick. And perhaps we'll go finish up Cyrodiil. Or I could switch to a different character. So, either way, um, I do want to head out this Please way, I think. Alright. There is a thought. I do have some other... I do have some... Dungeons that I do need to do as well. No, 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 no. This stuff. Endeavors. What do I still need to do? I need to collect stuff. I need to complete a survey report. I can do those, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna head for this guy first, I think. Time to take a splash. Forgot to do. There we go. That way, that's. There we go. Okay, dirt. Nothing of interest. Let's go get the alchemy survey, which is right over here. Got that complete. We'll need to come back to that. Let's go hit this. And then we'll come back. Oh, nice. 
that was absolutely worth it. Okay. Let's go back and get this. Ruby Ash. Always get that because it's got heartwood. And I am constantly doing heartwood furnishings. Oops. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tempted to go do this quest here. Just to get it out of my inventory. Let's do that. Curiosity's sake, do we have a new weekly one? Well, we do. <laughs> and it's almost done already. Well then. Oh, good. Wolves. But Daya. Bunch of muddy crabs. Of course, none of them have anything. Another traveler approaches. Come, warm yourself. Visitors come so rarely to visit this old woman, but fate has a way of making one suddenly useful. Well, Get close to the fire. Warm up. Pose your question. Undead wolves attacked Havel's farm, and he saw Freywin's ghost. He thought you could help. Wondered when they would send someone. Zone outsider surprises me. Yes, I know the fleshless fools. But a ghost of young Freywin? Disturbing. I may have answers for this haunting, but I'll need cursed specimens to study. You will get them. What do you need? Blood and tissue. Tear some decayed skin off an affected person and scrape dried blood from a cursed wolf. Bring me these things so I can understand what kind of magic we're dealing with. I fear there is more to Freywin's haunting than we realize. Okay. Good. Go on. Return here when you have the samples. A simple ritual will provide the details we seek. In the meantime, I'll consult my notes about Freywin's disappearance. Did you know Freywin? I did. She was beloved by the whole town. Even those of us pushed to the edges. Her disappearance hit hard. And the circumstances... Well... What were the circumstances? No, no, I will not tell you what is not yours to know. At least until I can see what causes these attacks. Come back with the samples, and you may learn more. Why did Havel call you a clever woman? Because I'm smarter than most Nords. <laughs> I jest. People from the North fear magic. Don't understand it? Must be dangerous. 
They believe my power comes from that freakster sure. If he was so clever, then I must be too. At least as Nord see it. Is that why you don't live in town? Out of sight, out of mind. The fools believe they can ward off magic's consequences by pushing it away. And yet I'm the first person they visit when someone gets sick. Or they think they see Daedra. Mm hmm Okay, well we're gonna get now, this water skin. Those rune stones? And I need to go get a blood sample over there. There's mud crabbies. Might as well get the mud crabbies. Woohoo! Good. Iron root and skeletal wolves. That must be luck. Life must be my lucky day. Next thing I need to get is over here. And somehow I th think I don't really want to pick up that other quest, so we'll just leave it there. Hi, Frost Troll. Whoa. I don't know why that happened. go. Use you. That wasn't what I meant to do, but that's okay. Okay, now we go back. Do -do -do. Ooh, mud crab. Do I see not with a centipede? Such sloppy magic. Untrained. The scent of death enters my nose. Your time with the cursed creatures has marked you. Let's hope not permanently. While you hunted, my studies proved fruitful. You have the blood and skin I require. They will complete my understanding. Yep. Yes, these will do nicely. Fresh, intact, thrumming with magic. This shall make the ritual easy. Hmm. They have an icy burn to the touch. Hope they weren't too much trouble. Perhaps those walking corpses willingly gave up their skin? <laughs> what will the ritual tell us? Many things. Is this a spell or a curse? Where does it get its power? Magic holds unique patterns, like footprints in the snow. If it's known to me, perhaps you can track the source. But first, I must extract this knowledge. Okay. Good. I won't be but a moment. Just as I feared. Come, listen to a tale. Okay. The ritual bears out my fears. I recognize the curse corrupting life around Morthal. Years ago, a death mage named Maxton killed a group of town guards at Tienstag Ruins. The same magic she used then now animates these undead. Why did they kill him? All I know are whispers. They say Maxton kidnapped Freewin and forced her into the ruins. Naturally, the Jarl dispatched the guards to rescue his daughter. But just as they arrived, a tempest of ice arose that froze the soldiers where they stood. What happened to Freywin? Vanished. Until now, it seems. 
though the link between Freywind's ghost and this curse still remains unclear. To find a cure, I need Maxton's original spell. Go east to the ruins. Retrieve anything that could reveal the nature of her work. Okay. Good. Meet me in Warthal with what you find. I wish to examine the wounds made by these undead. And take this rune. It bears an enchantment that will ward you from the curse's worst effects. At least, temporarily. Uh, what about this rune? A simple stone imbued with the warmth of life. After the events at Kjernstag ruins, I explored new paths of magic for counteracting necromancy. One such trial led to the rune you hold. It should protect you from the worst of the curse's effects. And if it doesn't? Do you doubt my ability? My practice of magic extends back to when I first heard Shore's whispers as a child. Have faith when I say the rune will protect you. And if it doesn't, well then, I'll visit your frozen statue. <laughs> Can you use the rune magic to end the curse? A shame, but no. We require something much more powerful to undo magic this strong. Energy directly connected to the curse's origins. The rabbit blood from which I drew the magicka to charge that rune will not suffice. What about the ghost of Freywin? Interesting. Even as a child, Freywin wandered outside Morthal to visit her people. She would come to my hut without fear. I would prepare her rabbit stew as we discussed her life. She told me once that Havel's farm brought her great joy. Why would she curse a place she enjoyed? An excellent question. So many of the answers elude me for now. With any luck, you will know more once we meet again. What about Maxon? As I said, she was a conjurer of death. From what I have seen, her magical understanding is incomplete. This curse is wild and sloppy. She approaches power like a babe crawling into a giant's camp. A shame that Freywin became caught in it. Where did she come from? I never spoke with her. But rumors still sometimes drift into my camp. Maxton was a mystery in Morthal. Appeared late one evening to rent a bed at the tavern. No one saw her in the day except to bring food. At night, she left to wander the woods. What was she doing? Oh, a forest night stroll is not so odd for a mage. It's the best time to collect mushrooms. And dug up bones hold the most power in the moonlight. But Maxton sought something in the woods. Perhaps she found it among the ruins. Why did she take Frywin? This I don't know. Let us hope that whatever you find in the Kjernstag ruins reveals what she wanted with the young woman. Okay. So where am I going? I don't see where it's telling me to go. Hmm. That's the Pale Man's Lair. That's not what I'm looking for. Show on the map. It's not showing me anything. Hmm. Oh. Okay, well it says go that way. We'll go.
Oh goody. Ice Wraith. And a troll. Neither of which I really need. Okay. Interesting. My luck. What if something goes wrong? Absolutely. I've researched this ritual for years. I just need your help. Okay. Very interesting. Interesting. Maxton's research journal. Hmm. What is this? A necromantic focus. Fun. following me who are you and why do you pursue me first it have was fun and now you emerge unscathed from these accursed ruins if Maxton sent you to bring me back to her I won't go everyone should just stay away before I kill them as well everybody thinks you're dead I'm seeking the cause of a curse turning people into zombies no I still live for now the curse I carry will kill me soon enough. I only hope to die close to home. I didn't want to destroy any more lives, or watch memories from my life resurrected to taunt me. How do we stop your curse? Its power grows as it feeds off my life energy. The curse ends once I am gone. I only wish I could say goodbye to my parents. I know it is not my place to ask favors, but could you bring my mother a message? Tell her. I'm sorry for everything. Night, Bruce. Okay. Thank you, stranger. Please bring her this locket so she knows the message is from me. Tell mother not to worry. There's a place I love nearby where I can watch the good people of Morthal live their lives. I can be happy there in my final moments. I saw a memory where you called Maxton your love. Oh yes, she was. I loved her dearly. And I truly believe Maxton loved me back. When she realized she'd accidentally cursed me, she swore to find a cure. But as time went on, growing her necromantic power became her only interest. So she didn't kidnap you? Is that what they say? No. I willingly joined her ritual. Which makes me just as guilty for all this death. Maybe I should have convinced her not to chase so much power. We might still be together then. Why did she curse you? This was not what she planned. Maxton believed she could improve her magical ability by communing with the powerful spirits that inhabit Kienstag ruins. She asked my help with performing a summoning ritual. But 
It went horribly wrong. What happened? Max did All right, Bruce. The ritual's difficulty. As she struggled, ice grew over the walls, and winds blew wildly. She almost gained control, but suddenly Thane Alstrom and his guards stormed the ruins. Maxton's focus slipped, and the ritual exploded. So that's what froze the soldiers. It shames me to admit, but yes, all those soldiers, my friends and neighbors, dead because of my actions. And now my return home killed even more people. Being near the end is a blessing. Oh yes, she was. I loved her dearly. And I truly believe Maxton loved me back. When she realized she'd accident, I wish this news surprised me. After I left to come home, I feared Maxton would no longer reign in her desire for power. Okay. So now they want me to go back to Morsal. Which is here. Kinda wanna go see this house. Curious. Let's go see what it looks like. I'm curious. Oh, this is cool. F5, I want to see it furnished. Oh, you can't buy it furnished. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Wouldn't this be fun to decorate with dwarven stuff? This is cool. Do you get an entire freaking lake? That's impressive. Let's head back to Morthal. Although we should probably see if anybody's killing this boss. Because if they are, I could help. Do, 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 do. I somehow doubt they're killing it. Oh, there's a thieves trove. Darn it. Nope. 
not gonna work. Talk to Lady Nenitha. So she is upstairs. I think. Can you help him, witch? The curse rots his flesh. I've done what I can, but it won't last. Good, you're back. Old Mjolin told me of your discovery at the farm. She believes that Freywin's ghost somehow heralds this curse. I held out hope of her survival for years. Perhaps finally knowing her fate brings some relief despite it all. No, she's still alive. Still alive? I can't believe it. After all these years, Freywin finally comes home and you tell me she's dying? Why would she have you deliver this locket? I must see her. There is so much to say. Where is she? Take me to her. She told me about a place where she can watch Morthal and be happy. Is that by the water where the boats dock? Or perhaps her bedroom where she watched people from the window? The tree! Oh, Freywin, that old tree in the forest above Morthal. She would spend hours there. We must go now. You can't. The curse kills anyone who approaches. But you survived? Oh, the clever woman protected you. Speak with old Mjolin, please. She knows so much more about magic than anyone in Morthal. There must be something that can cure my daughter. I'll ask. Thank you. I need a moment to process everything you told me. And hold on to the locket. I refuse to take it while there's still hope to keep Freywin alive. Okay. So you found Frey when alive, did you? An unexpected but welcome turn of events. We may yet be able to save her. What did you bring me from the ruins? I must know more about the necromancer's plans. I found some notes and a broken focus. Ah, let me see. Awful? The fantasies of a child. Playing with magic like this invites danger. The energies at the ruins surely overwhelmed her. But this shard... Tell me, did Freywin explain the visions of her ghost to you? She told me the curse resurrected memories from her life. Yes, this is what I needed to know. Maxton's ritual consumed the spirits in the ruins. She wished to gain power by absorbing their memories. Freywin's curse drains her life energy, then manifests it as her own memories. This is how we cure her. How does that work? By flooding her with her own life force, we can burn out the curse. Give me her locket. Ah, yes. It hums with emotional power. Once attuned, you can absorb Freywin's memories into it. Fill it with her energy so we may rescue her from death. Okay. Good. Here is the locket. Nenetha mentioned two places Freywin enjoyed. The docks and her bedroom. You may find manifestations there. 
When you're done, meet me back here at the tavern. Then we'll proceed. You said the ruins would overwhelm Maxton. What spirits reside there? Ah, well, you see, back in the... <laughs> Actually, no. Perhaps that secret should fade into dust. These events show that those ruins best remain undisturbed. Okay. So... Let's head downstairs. It was an interesting looking inn. Hmm. All right, so let's go over here. Nothing there that's interesting. Um, box Maybe do? Yoran deserved this fate. Maybe Fieldgor was right all along. Oh, it's above. Okay. Lord people must stand together. Mm -hmm. This locket, wasn't this yours? Yes, darling. And now it's yours. Keep it close to your heart. Hmm. First I want to examine the diary. to go there. Okay, let's use the locket. That was bright. Nothing there. Okay, let's go down to the docks. This way. We'll have a good time on the water. Ah, yes. I 
loved exploring. I can't wait to do it again. Okay, now we have to talk to... What's her name? Again. Wait. Backpack. Ooh. Undetected, though. Okay. Yay for that. Quickly, to me. Our time is short. Your return may be too late. Lady Nenetha ran off to meet Freywen at the trees she described. She wanted to be with her before they end. If we don't act quickly, she will die. Were you successful in obtaining the memories? Yes. Then we can put an end to this tragedy. But we must act now. Go, join them at the large tree over your... Bring it with you. As my ritual to cure Freywin culminates, you must hold the locket before you. Her life energy will rush into her, and the curse should break. I warn you, this may be painful for her, but it is necessary. Okay. When you arrive, wait for me. Do not let them do anything rash. I will not be long. Do this, and Morthal will be rid of them. Okay, I have to go that way. Let's go. Oh, geez. I knew it was going to do that. What's happening? You did it. I can't believe it. You brought my Freywin back to me. Thank you. I have so many questions. <laughs> <for> <laughs> Thanks, her. Script. And the Jarl, he still doesn't even know. We must. <laughs> Please, give me a moment. You all right? I think so. I could feel my skin freeze over. For a brief moment, I thought the end was upon me. All I wanted was for Freywin to know she wasn't alone. What happens to her next? She killed so many people. I don't know, truly. Freywin's return will raise many questions in Morthal. The Jarl and I must discuss what to say if we say anything at all about what happened here. I promised you payment at the beginning of this. Here, I am deeply grateful. Uh huh. Okay. So I guess that means I finished Morthal. Apparently, it does. Hmm. Huh. Where else do I need to go? I need to get to there. So let's head to... Freywin? Are you alright? Let's head to the... Am, am I? Um... Mother, I thought I'd killed you. Way Shrine, that's what they're called. Well... 
Okay, let's go here. At least that got rid of one of my quests. That one actually is the zone quest. This one, however, I might be able to get rid of. So let's go get this treasure. treasure is. I think it's up here. Yep, yeah, here we go. Okay, so that should be safe. Now I just need to go up here. Let's just recall here. This way. Oh, hello there, buddy. We found the next part of this quest. This must be the pale man's cave. See the bones? Wolves don't make patterns like this. And I've seen this before. At its old lair. A location this remote is perfect to grab folks who are alone. Told you it was clever. Did you get the Draugr parts? Got what you asked for. What now? You assemble them into a body that tempts the pale man. Take these sharp bones, jam them into the torso, then stick the arms, legs, and head onto them. Gruesome work, but it should hold. Pour on the pungent mixture I've made, and you have your bait. Where do I put it? Last time I found a crude table deep within its lair. There were remains with gnaw marks on them. I think that's where it eats. Search the lair mm -hmm. for a similar table. Place the body on it, then pour on the mixture, and uh, hold your breath. What if it doesn't come out? If this doesn't work, then come get me. I am not letting this thing escape again. It won't be killing any more people. If we have to, I'll be the bait. But I'd like to avoid that for as long as possible. Despite everything, I'd like to live. Okay. So, we go in here. No, of course. Can't loot it. You remind me of the babe. What babe? Babe with the power. What power? Power of voodoo. Who you do? The what? Remind me of the babe. <laughs> Thank you for the jump scare and the uh, David Bowie. I could always use that. 
So, uh, let's put the bait here, I guess is what I'm doing. Okay, then I pour a mixture on it. Ugh. Then I kill this guy. You gonna come here, or do I have to go get you? I mean, I'm not afraid of coming to get you. Ooh. He's dead. Okay, now trophies. Where do I go to get those? Oh, that chest I couldn't open? I bet they're in there. Do, do, do. What trophies does he have? You need a calm voice for the tiny demon taco to fall asleep to. That is perfectly all what all right. Oh man. He to he killed a dog and a ring. Oh my gosh. And he killed a kid. What an I am so glad I took care of him. Alright, let's tell this guy he's dead. Was it in there? Were you able to kill it? What happened in there? It's dead. Then it's over. Shores, bones, it's over. After so many years. That thing is really dead. I don't know how I can thank you. I lost everything and was ready to give it all up. But now, finally, justice. I found these trophies in the lair. Do you recognize them? I don't. Wait. That ring. It can't be. It's Drendek's signet ring. Our mother gave it to him shortly before our hunting trip. When the pale man took Drendek. I always felt she blamed me for losing it. And for my brother. But now... What about the other items? These must be from all the other victims. Trophies of the lives it snatched. That means it wasn't hunting for food. It was proud of what it had done. I need to return these to the families. I fear and Halfgard. All of them deserve to know it's over. You want me to do it? You've done more than enough for a broken old man. I'd like to see the faces of everyone when I tell them. It'll take a while with this limp, but I've got something to live for now. All I can offer you is this. Thank you. Cool. I am glad I killed that guy. Did I just level? Yes. Cool. Let's go get some blacksmithing stuff seems like it's right around the corner but I don't know how to get there from here so we're just gonna explore do, 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 do. Mm. that was tough hi dear elk whatever you are cool to do there. Do I have anything else in the zone? Not really. I do need to go get this treasure chest as well. So we'll go do that. This place is so creepy looking, by the way. Why am I in combat already? I just got here. I don't want to be in combat. I just want to 
get my treasure. There it is. That was worthless. Oh well, I got it anyway. Okay, so next treasure map. Let's figure out where I have to go for that. I think I have one in the rift. Oh no, I have two in the rift. That works. Um, I'll just go to Riften. Let's get out of here. I do need to fish in this area, but I don't think fishing is a good idea tonight because that will put me to sleep. And that's kind of the exact opposite of what I need to do. Let me mark where I'm going on my map. Good mammoths. And giants. The other thing I need to get to, well that's if I was a werewolf, but I'm not a werewolf and I have no intention to be a werewolf. Not on this character. There's some mercenaries. Oh, there's a bear. strange way to kill a uh, troll but I mean I guess if that's what suits your fancy is it on the other side of this wall I think it is okay so we have to get inside there It's not going to let me in there this way, is it? Okay. Is this don't want to jump down there it's gonna be back further I so I have to go through this door let's go hello Worked out well for him, didn't it?
Yay, treasure. Nice. Okay, what else do I have in my inventory? I need to get rid of Stormhaven, Bankerai, and East March. Where in East March? Over there. We're gonna waste some money to get there because getting back to it. Back around that wall would be very annoying. Okay. And we go this way. Ooh, platinum. I'll take that and earn root. Treasure map. The things that I needed to do. Stormhaven and Banker Eye. Let's go back to back to the way shrine so I don't waste more money. without having to fight anything. Making sure I got everything. The other place is Stormhaven. Off we go. Oops. Whatever. Stormhaven is the question. A way out there. Okay. No. 
Okay. Okay. Let's get all of these. Just curious, do I have all of those done? I almost have that one done too. Okay. That I know. Have I gotten anything useful? Not really. However, I could turn in some of these. Do, 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 do. Let's at least do this one. And this one. down this way for the enchanter's table in here or not enchanters the alchemy just need to find a fireplace. So let's go to the inn, which is up here. The Dread Lady described you well. Come and speak with me. Alrighty, let's go over here. I was looking in the wrong area. Make one more. And then it 
it can be turned in. Alright. Now I just head over here. Most clients don't like to be. Hey. None of us is getting any. So I have 48 now. Mm. All of the ones I have left. I have three easy ones. And a whole bunch of not so easy ones. I think I want to go ahead and do the easy ones while well, I can. Okay, so I'm not supposed to use that one. This one will work. This one will work. Okay, that's completed. Then let's go turn it in. Although, you know what? I could just make the other two concoctions. I just have to read it carefully. Okay, the other two I need. Alright, let me... I need... Okay, so... Ravage Stamina... Increase armor and vitality for that one. The other one is vulnerability, ravage magicka, and ravage stamina. Is this one? That one's an essence. The other one's a poison. Okay. I can do that. Potion maker. Uh -huh. Ravage stamina. Increase armor. What does this do? Paralysis? No. Increase armor. Wait. Clear selections. Okay, so that. That. 
and vitality. And I need this. I don't even know what that does. Okay. Search. This. Craft. There we go. My goodness. Welcome in. Let me... Get this other one, because I need a poison maker. I need vulnerability. <laughs> the caffeination is coming. Well, welcome in, everybody. I am up in the middle of the night, basically for one reason alone. And that's because our dog hates rain, and it is pouring outside. So I am up to keep her company. And let's see, where's the vulnerability here? Here we go. Search. Let's clear that. Put this in and craft it. That should give me 16 of each of them. Oh, that's okay, Gray. We don't mind the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> The missing emotes. It's okay. How are you doing, Wrecked? I am just kind of chilling out for the evening. My husband, Bruges, is sound asleep because he streams in the morning. Everybody is entitled to at least one goober uh, moment per day, so... for a foot of snow. I would rather have the snow. So, yes. Because snow does not bother the dog. It doesn't bother me either. Okay, so let's turn that in. And then the other two potions that I made should satisfy this one. You ready to drop the good? None of us is getting any And this master writ. Cool. None of us is getting. None of us is getting any younger, you know. So that puts me at fifty-seven writ vouchers, which isn't bad. I can deal with that. Let's repair everything, cause it's always good to do that. Iso's going pretty well. I am. I was trying to get some of the easy. Uh, writs that I have done for the simple reason that I'm at 66 of 100 for Unsurpassed Crafter and that's the last thing that I'm missing for Grandmaster Crafting. I have everything else. I literally have everything else for Grandmaster Crafting see if it shows here. Grandmaster. I literally, that's all I'm missing. That's all I'm missing. And it is so close. In fact, just recently, like two days ago, maybe it was yesterday, I finally finished all of my research. The, I have everything researched on this character now. And as for, um, let me go here, character knowledge, motifs, I have quite a number that are finished, that I have all of the pieces for. Obviously the easy ones, some not so easy ones, I'm really close to Ancestral High Elf, but 
That helmet has been just too expensive. I just hate it when you don't go out with them. Oh, no. But yeah, I'm getting really close to getting some more complete. Daggerfall Covenant is getting close as well. So I think what I want to do now is honestly, I want to go finish Cyrodiil. That's kind of been my goal for the week. I am super close to finishing every PvP thing in Cyrodiil. They do their business and come stand by the door if I'm out there. Guess they feel safe? Well, that makes sense. So, yeah, if you look at the map completion here on the left, the only things I have left to do in the zone is the dolmens. I don't even want to look at how bad things are. And I need to do all the quests that are right here. White Gold Tower? What do you mean? Oh no, this is uh, Cyrodiil. This is the PvP zone. And... I'm very close to having it completed. I do have some quests to finish here. Quite a number of them. But I have all of the Delves. I have all of the Sky Shards. I have most of the quests. Imperial City, that is um, another PvP zone. And that's right in the middle here. I'm not actually there, but you can actually see it. In fact, I will be running right past Imperial City to get where I need to go. So let's go turn in these here first. Get some of these quests off my list. And speaking of Oblivion and conversely Morrowind, starting January 2nd next year, every Monday and Tuesday afternoon, I'm going to be doing a full playthrough of Morrowind as close to vanilla as I can get it, but with better graphics. So basically I have a, a mod pack that I downloaded that patches all the mess ups and updates the graphics. So it's gorgeous looking. I've got it working on my PC. I am super excited about starting it. Um, you can go first person in this game. I just choose to play third, but yeah, so you can go first person. It's just, for some reason, it's really, um, what's the word? It's very disorienting for me. Or no apparent reason that I can figure out, but it is, so I just use third person. And Morrowind is where I first got into it, but at the beginning when Morrowind first came out, I will say I was extremely angry at Morrowind because when it first came out, it was abs the archery in the game was absolutely broken. Oh, Sky Oblivion, I've heard of it. I follow a couple of the devs on Twitter. Um, there's a couple of the or not Twitter on um, Twitch. There are a couple of them that actually do a lot of their dev work live on Twitch. Um, the one that I can think of currently is the. Uh, is uh Kyle uh oh, shoot I don't remember his name right off the bat Rebel Kyle something I don't know but he does he does all of his stuff 
or most of his stuff while live on Twitch, which is really fun to watch. It's really zen watching him put together Morrowind graphics and everything in this engine that they've got. And it is so much fun. So I know it is still being worked on and I'm so excited about it. I really would love to play it. But pff, I can't even run tonight. Okay. Let's go down here. We need to turn in stuff at the Priory, which is over here. Yeah, Oblivion was my first love of, uh... Of, uh, Elder Scrolls 2. I absolutely loved Oblivion. I never finished it. But I spent hundreds of hours in the game. Just exploring and having a good time. And I know less now than I did when I started. Okay, we're just gonna turn that in. Where's the other person I have to talk to? Over there. Somewhere? Hello. You. With armies marching my robes. Yeah, good. You have your robes back. Okay. Now I need to go to You know what? We could actually just do this. It's right here. It would trigger the next one. Let's go do Dolmens. Um, part of my reason for starting with Morrowind is because, one, it's the archery is no longer broken. Two, I never finished that one either because, obviously, I was mad at the archery. However, what I'm going to do is I will be playing all the way through Morrowind as completionist as I can or as completionist as I feel I want to do at the time and then I will be doing Oblivion afterwards and then Skyrim because I have never finished any of the three of them and I figure at the very least doing it on stream gives me a reason to finish them So that is my project for next year. In fact, it will probably um, have to take the front card back. Yeah, I put hundreds of hours into both Oblivion and Skyrim, and I have never finished either one of them. I absolutely need to do so. So that's what the plan is for next year. If it takes me more than a year, it takes me more than a year. And you know what? That's fine. I am also... My other major goal that I've already started on is the Assassin's Creed games. Um, recently... Well, actually, it's about a year ago. I finally decided that, yes, Assassin's Creed games are not the genre I'm good at. That doesn't mean I can't play them. And I started with Assassin's Creed 1 with the intention to 100% every game in the series, in the PC series. I have gotten 100% on every one up to, I'm working on three now. I did not 100% Brotherhood because there were five missions that were super glitchy, but I got to 97.5 on that one, and I think that's actually pretty darn close for me. So, you know, it occurs to me I should buff. But, so, and being able to work on the Assassin's Creed games when it's not really my kind of thing has opened so many game genres up to me, and I've just been having so much fun at it. So, every Monday and Thursday night, I do Assassin's Creed and just having a really good time with it. 
Now if I was paying attention to what I was doing, this guy would already be dead. So... I have another streamer friend that decided to do basically the same thing with the Assassin's Creed. It took him more than 200 days, but he 100%ed the entire PC series. Every game that's on PC, he got to 100%, including the platformers, the, uh, the Chronicle games. And it is absolutely the most impressive feat I've ever seen anybody do. I mean, he's been working on it for... Jeez, it's been... He started at about the same time I started. Which was last year. And he has officially finished it. He's working on Horizon Zero Dawn now, I believe. They don't have native controller support. Or, I don't know, I had the if, option. I could have played it on controller if I wanted to. I'm terrible on controller. So I mouse and keyboard everything. But, um... Yeah, it offered me the option when I played them off of Ubisoft Connect to, um... play on controller. I even tried it for a little while, but... At least I thought it did. Okay, let's get this thing... Now, let's see if we can kill the boss. Solo. Without somebody showing up to kill me. That's gonna be the question. Ah, ah, ah. No. No shooting things at me. I'm actually really glad I went through the games in release order. Because I don't think I could have played, like, Brotherhood and Revelations and then gone back to the horrible controls in one. Because they really were bad. They were hard to get through. But when it comes down to it, I think one was one of my favorite stories. One and Revelations have been my favorite stories so far. And that's how you do a dolmen. Solo. Okay. Where did it go next? Um, I'm watching for it to go to the next dolmen. Because little swords show up. I think it should go here. But I can't be sure. Nope, it went way down here. Guess I'm going down there. Oh, the... And being that Assassin's Creed is not a type of game that I have ever attempted before, I usually play a lot of simulation and RTSs and strategy games. So... Action-adventure was not my thing. I've done... I've done MMOs. Like, I started way back with Asheron's Call. And then I went to WoW. And then I went to Lotro. And bounced back and forth between those for quite a while. And then I finally found ESO. And I'm hooked. But yeah, those Assassin's Creed games, the learning curve is, yeah, is quite interesting. <laughs> You're not playing a tower defense. Tower defense is not one I've ever gotten into. That doesn't mean I won't ever. But it's just not been my thing up until now. Hopefully I can get to this thing without getting murdered. 
Do 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 do. And welcome in, Rage Pups. Thank you for that follow. I am up in the middle of the night for our dog. Who is cowering in the corner of her crate at the moment. Mostly tranquilized because she gets panicked so badly. Um, I feel so bad for her. Get some shut eye. Yes, you do that. D stream. Take good care of yourself. I love your emotes. Have a wonderful sleep. And I will hopefully be getting some sleep sometime before the sun comes up. Can't guarantee it though. Okay, so where am I headed from here? Oh, still around the mountain we go. The only thing I hate about, well, no, there's lots of things that I hate about Cyrodiil. One, it's PvP. Two, this is like the biggest zone in the game. And it's such a pain to get around. It really is. Oh, hello. We'll ignore them. And because nobody really does the dolmens in Cyrodiil, I should be able to get to each one in time. Because as you see, it's still flashing. So I should be able to get there. Let's... I'm not 100% sure this is safe water. So we will go over it that way. It was safe. Meh. Whatever. I do not need to cross the, non the unsafe water. Luckily. Good lord, I ran out of stamina. That's hard to do on this mount. Oh, we have a new emperor. Yay. I don't even know 100% what that means. So I'm just going to smile and nod and play along. Still going? It's still going. Now the problem with doing dolmens in a PvP zone is everybody can hear them go off. So you're basically announcing, hey, somebody's doing this. Come kill me. To anybody who wants to kill players. So. Here goes nothing. Stop shooting me. Okay, they're all dead. You're next.
oops.